Actually, like Mr. Fans, we're going to watch a classic here. Trust me on this one. It's called Reuben and Ed, starring Kristen, Kristen Glover and Howard Hesman. Let's check it out. <laughs> Howard Hesman. No, no, not work. Real estate! Real estate! He's a participant Howard in one of these pyramid scheme type things. Real estate! The PPR! The organization! Crispin Glover as Reuben. Fantasizing over a poster. And a picture of his beloved cat, Simon. Come and get me! <laughs> That's it. Reuben is mourning his dead no cat. More That's Not his mother. Until you get out of this house and make a friend. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. For your own good, Reuben. You can't stay in this house the rest of your life. Yes, I can. So he needs to make a friend ASAP to appease his mother. I want you to meet my mother. For a free introductory seminar. Reuben needs Ed. Ed needs to bring estate. people to his seminar. I could go around dinner time, come over to my house, pick me up. I think that could be arranged. Uh, you know, Reuben found a friend. Ruben's mother uh, owns this hotel where Ruben lives. Nope. My mother's not here yet. You need to meet my mother. While waiting for mother, he decides to get a glass of ice from Ruben's freezer. Ah! Oh, good lord, what the hell? I'm sorry, uh, I wanted some ice. I didn't realize. Look, I didn't do it. Uh, Why don't you keep your hands off other people's refrigerators? I didn't Ruben has it. a plan. You have a car. Hmm? You drop my cat. You have a car. Uh, we, we go to the seminar first, and then we bury your cat. He'll defrost. Talk to nice. That's a good idea, Ed. No, I, I Reuben hijacked the car. Ed jumped in. They're not going to the seminar. Taught me how to control. Would you shut up about that seminar? No, shut up, you pissy ass son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Anyway, they wander off the road in the desert in Utah. Turn around. They're lost. I can't go out here. I have a heart condition. I have to bury Simon first. The car hits a little ditch. It dies. They have to spend the night. They end up wandering room. around. Let's Ruben see. does find a place to bury the cat. You better get that cat to ground real fast. <sighs> Little ass. Pumas around. This isn't the right spot. He changes his mind. Now they have no water while they wander out there, but <laughs> Reuben has an idea. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. A few hours later, <laughs> Reuben's thirsty again. Oh, poor Simon. They argue. Have to admit you're a failure, Ed. Have to admit your wife left you. She couldn't stand to live with a fraud failure. <laughs> you leave my wife out of this. They split up. Ed does find the car. And he also figures out what's wrong with it. So he's able to start it up. The problem. Karen it's Black. Ed's ex-wife, Rula. I know, I know. 
I think I deserve a breadwinner, Ed. And I'm not talking about Wonder Bread. I'm talking about Crusoe's. He's out there on snake flags. Ruben's gone. Yeah, New York died from a snake that bit him out there. That was a scorpion. There are thousands more scorpions than there are snakes. That was a snake. A big snake. I don't know. I'd go to the hospital. If your friend's headed north, well, he's gonna fall right down the abandoned mine shaft. Ruben is struggling. Perhaps starting to hallucinate. It leaves. I'm happy as hell. Okay. But he has a change You're of heart. To get the hopeless son of a bitch. On his way back, Ed has a fantasy of running over his ex-wife. Ruben finds a cave with an echo and a knock on the head. Remember that symbol. Echo people. Ruben is hallucinating or dreaming about. Simon. I love you. I love your shoes. You're a king. A king. A king. My cat can eat a whole watermelon. Good looking cat you got here, Ruben. He finds Ruben. Gibson. Great <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. They found the perfect spot to bury him, though. It's like a custom fit. He's a good cat. <laughs> he was a good friend to Ruben. Himself really be it. Well, wow. his mother found your business card reported him kidnapped. How would you know that? State troopers through here an hour ago. Your mother told him you were in Prague. My mother? <laughs> that figures. Hello, police. Uh, this is Ed Tuttle, uh, the kidnapper you're after. Uh, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Uh, I was just helping bury a frozen cat. Mr. Tuttle, is, is Ruben Far all right? Uh, well, he is so messed up. It is unbelievable. Uh, but it was his cat. It was not mine. I, I said, look, I said, let's bury him under that cactus. But no, he wanted to bury him in the cave of the Echo people. So, oh. Anyway, they make it back to town. Hey, what are you doing in the bushes? Or to go home. Ed spotted his ex-wife leaving the uh, bank. What? Want me to be quiet? Lula yells at him. You are so stupid! You couldn't get it! You're just a loser! You're just a hopeless loser! Ruben's taking a fancy to it now and he doesn't like that kind of talk. <laughs> I can't believe that you didn't even get one person to that stupid seminar. <laughs> or did he? That's because Ed is no longer impressed with Mr. Busta. That the secret to success is to fail and keep trying. If you haven't failed, you haven't tried. Well, that's really profound. Sure worth $3,000, huh? The powerful, the power of positive real estate. Are you the kind of high caliber motivated individual that'll stop at nothing to get what you deserve? Who are you? 
Who are you? I am the king of the Echo people. There is no reason to be pushing a person. Yeah. Oh yeah? Well, same word to you and everybody who rode in with you. Hey, what the hell? Oh, no, we're quite all right. And you know that? Remember, what that was Mr. Busta's like car he was driving. And that guy with the shoes! Where did you... Where's your car? Uh, I don't have a car. Well, where's your car? This is my car, stub dick. I thought you had a Lincoln and a Mercedes and a cat. Shut up! Reuben and Ed walk it's off. Not a joke. I but mean, Mr. Uh, Bust is looking you for him. Damn serious, thank God. Damn serious. Walk off into the moonlight. There's no stop on this train, pal. No siree, Bob. I am on a collision course, a head-on collision course, with the brick wall of success. Think about it. Okay, let's talk about Reuben and Ed. Um, it's one of my all-time favorite films, actually. Uh, this is a movie that came out in 1994, I believe, or was it 92? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, a few years earlier, Crispin Glover had appeared on David Letterman in the Reuben character. Nobody knew what he was or who he was supposed to be at the time. Um, and uh, he almost kicked Dave in the face, and he was escorted off the show. And uh, it was kind of a famous moment in uh, Late Night with David Letterman. Um, a few years later, he came back and basically denied the appearance ever occurred. And then a few years after that, uh, my fellow shockmaster Jeff told me, there's this movie called Reuben and Ed coming out. You got to look at the thing and it was he was talking about the character of Crispin Glover is in that same character now was he in character as Reuben uh, when he was on Letterman or did uh, the director Trent Harris say hey I want you to dress up like you did on Letterman and be this character I don't know I, I guess we'll never know but anyway that's a movie about Howard Hessman. He's uh, this wannabe salesperson. He's got to get somebody to the seminar. So he ends up finding Reuben. Reuben is this strange character who lives in a hotel room. Uh, his mother owns the hotel, so he lives there rent-free. His cat recently died, so he's in mourning for his cat. He wants to bury Simon in the right place. Uh, but... Um, his mom insists, I'm sick of you being here all by yourself. Uh, you need to go out and make a friend. So he goes out and he meets uh, Howard Hessman, who was trying to get him to the seminar. So the two of them have a mutual need for the other. Um, so uh, Ed agrees to uh, come pick Reuben up. He does so, and then uh, he discovers that there's a dead cat in the refrigerator, in the freezer, actually. Reuben wants to bury He says, okay, we'll go bury my cat. You have a car, and then we'll go to the seminar. Reuben hijacks the car and takes Ed on an adventure in the uh, middle of Utah somewhere. They get off the road. The car starts. Falls. They're trapped in the desert. They're wandering around. <laughs> Eventually, they find uh, a perfect place to bury Simon uh, in a cave, the Cave of the Echo People, as uh, Reuben calls it. And um, uh, they finally get back to town. The car is messed up. He takes uh, Reuben to the seminar anyway, and they get kicked out of there. And then the kind of film kind of ends with them walking off as, as an unlikely uh, friends. Um, I think this movie is fantastic. Um, it's funny. It's very quotable. And, uh, I don't know, it's just great. It's a, very, it's a really quirky film. It's strange. I don't know how you could even describe this movie to anybody. It's not available on DVD, but the uh, director, Trent Harris, who I'm actually Facebook friends with, uh, sells uh, DVD-Rs of this uh, through his website. I also bought a copy of the script from him, as well as a, a, a shirt, a T-shirt that says, My Cat Can Eat a Whole Watermelon. It has a picture of uh, Simon on it. It's a fantastic shirt. Um, had it for years. So, anyway, um, maybe someday this will get a nice Blu-ray release. I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but whatever. I'm glad I really glad that I have this. I also have a couple of two actually pre-recorded VHS tapes of it as well. I think this is a great, great movie. It's quirky fun. Not a lot of people have even heard of this, but those who have seen it and know it seem to love it. And I, it's it's rightfully so. It's a great movie. Uh, the late Karen Black also co-stars as Rula, Howard Hessman's ex-wife. And I believe the director, Trent Harris, is trying to do some sort of sequel to it now called Echo People. He was trying to raise some funds for it. I don't know if it's a direct sequel or if it's just kind of it takes place in the same time period. I don't know, but Filmed in Utah, fantastic film. I love it. Highly recommend it. I, I know at one time this was streaming on YouTube, 
the whole thing. I don't know if it is now, but if it is, I'd recommend checking it out. Otherwise, get a hold of Trent Harris on Facebook and uh, get a copy of this from him because it's a great movie and you'll love it. Guarantee you'll love it. Strange stuff. Watch this movie. Leave some comments down below. Let me think about it. It's called Ruben and Ed. Let me know what you think about it. It's called Ruben and Ed. Watch it. Bye.